Welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. My guest today is registered dietitian Don Jackson Blattner, here to talk about National Nutrition Month and how to stop counting calories and make calories count. Don, welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Well, thank you for having me. So March is National Nutrition Month. What's this year's theme? Oh my gosh, the theme I love is called Enjoy the Taste of Eating Right. You know, because so many people out there, they like struggle to be healthy because they think it has to be such a boring fare. But this is really about enjoying the flavor of good food. I think that I just love that because you can do both. Yeah, a lot of people do think you have to give up flavor to be able to eat healthy, but that's just not true. No, it's a live bah humbug on that, I say, you know? <laughs> so what are some tips you have for uh, eating healthy and still enjoy eating? Okay, so the first thing is if you look around, snacking is on the rise, right? People are barely eating meals. They're just snacking all the time. So the most important thing is to look in your home, look in your office, and start stocking up on satisfying snacks. Um, and so, like, you know, you look around and people snack on, like, 100-calorie little packs of, like, crackers or cookies. Uh, and that just does not fill you up. So I have a new obsession. Uh, it's Chobani Simply 100. And it's the first and only authentic Greek yogurt that's just... 100 calories and has no artificial sweetener and so it's only natural ingredients I can read everything on the ingredient label which is very important to me I can pronounce it you know which is so important um, and it's 12 grams of protein and 5 grams of fiber that's a magic combination for really feeling full and I, I just I, that's so important in between meals so that you don't feel like you're making bad decisions if you're super hungry uh, you know you want to stay satisfied between those meals so I know a lot of times people think they're eating healthy, you know, oh, I'll have a smoothie or something, but they're loading up on all this high-calorie stuff that's not going to fill them up. That Chobani yogurt might be something good to, you know, add into the smoothie, so you're still getting that, that fun smoothie drink, but not as much calories or junk food in. Yeah, you know what, and that's right. It's like having the stuff stocked, then you start getting these cool ideas, like you just said, like, oh, it's in the fridge, I can grab it, I could throw it with a little fruit, maybe a handful of spinach, and now I have a smoothie. You know, I just think having, I call it staging for success, right? Is that you have the stage set with all the essential parts that you need, and then as your day is going, you can kind of put it all together. What are some other diet-friendly snacks that we can keep on hand and easy and, and to reach for? Well, I'll tell you, this isn't necessarily a snack, but it could be. Uh, I think vegetables have really, they've gotten a little boring for people, right? So it's like having a little bit more fun with vegetables is so key because they're low in calories, but they're also super high in nutrition, so that makes your calories count. So like mashed cauliflower is great at dinner time, or these could be a snack, carrot fries. That's very fun, very delicious, nutritious. Um, or a great snack would be things like kale chips too. Um, have you ever had kale chips? I haven't, no. Yeah, very fun. It's, you know, the big leafy green, you just uh, put it in like a little chip shapes, pop it into a 400 degree oven, eight minutes, you pull out a, a tray of chips. Um, so that kind of fun with vegetables encourages all of us to eat more of them without having to like force us, you know, twist our arm to do it. We want to do it. And that's the key is wanting to do it. Yeah, using our vegetables in different ways will make them, usually don't think of fun when you think of vegetables. <laughs> we may do it for like kids, right? We might, you know, mm -hmm. cut things up into like little shapes and have fun with them. And then as adults, we just, you know, put a paper plate full of food and we say, oh, let's eat it. And instead, we should really be thinking about how to make it beautiful, how to make it fun. Those are the things that makes healthy eating actually doable long term, beyond even March, National Nutrition Month, actually mm -hmm. into spring and summer. And you were saying things with, like, the cauliflower mashed potatoes. You can kind of swap things out so you're getting a little bit better nutrition, but you're still getting that food, that comfort food that you love. Oh, yeah. You know, and speaking of, like, comfort food and swaps, one of the great places to do that is restaurant food because restaurant food, an average meal is 1,000 500 calories, and that's more than a lot of people need in an entire day. So, like, I crave tacos. I love tacos. So instead of going to a restaurant for a 1,000-calorie belly buster, right, I can make them at home in a light version by doing things like rotisserie chicken without the skin instead of ground beef, or avocado for healthy fats instead of cheese, or doing a Greek yogurt for a protein punch instead of sour cream. You know, those swaps, even though they're tiny, they're very doable and they add up over time. 
So you don't have to make some big drastic change and make yourself miserable. You can do little things here and there to sort of help things out. Well, yeah, you know, and our culture right now is really big on this like deprivation, boot camp, punishment, you know, like they're really about this sort of negative way to lose weight and, and fit in your genes, you know, it just doesn't have to be that way. We really can eat calories that nourish our body, make us feel alive and energized and look good in the process. Don, where can we go for more ideas about National uh, Nutrition Month and some healthy eating tips? Healthy eating tips, great recipes. I'd love for you to go to jibani.com. Great resource. Fantastic. Don Jackson Blattner, thank you so much for joining us here on the Kiosk Presents. Happy National Nutrition Month. Oh, thanks. Same to you. Melanie, what are you doing up there? Don, diamond engagement ring prices at the fancy stores are through the roof. Not here at Airport Plaza Jewelers, the showroom. You don't have to pay their high prices. Or worse, settle for low quality just to meet your budget. At the showroom, we have hundreds of settings. And thousands of GIA certified diamonds available. All at a fraction of the fancy stores. Wow, selection, quality, and savings at the showroom on Union. Next to Subway. Where a really great diamond doesn't cost. In arm and a leg.